Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our Venice campaign in SSHIP. Now, I do have some bad news for all of the stands of this series. Unfortunately, due to the constant crashes, I am going to be discontinuing this series. I am going to play this episode. It might be a little bit shorter than some of the previous episodes, but I am going to play it nonetheless. But yeah, unfortunately, guys, there is a major issue with NVIDIA graphics cards that is just causing crashes every single battle at the moment. Um, I don't think we've had a battle without a crash for the last three episodes or last two episodes at least. So, yeah, unfortunately, until they get that sorted, then I will be uh, discontinuing it. Good news, though, on the other side, I will be starting an Empire Darth Mod campaign in uh, Empire Total War very soon. So we will replace this series with that one. And uh, I love Empire as well, so that should be good fun. But for the now, let's uh, let's keep on playing as well. Let's see if we can attack these guys. We can't actually, can we? So let's end the turn there, guys. What is happening with Skodron? Are we just sieging it down? How long? Three turns. I think we can wait. Don't think we need to take the battle there. So let's end the turn. It is unfortunate because I do... I've really, really actually enjoyed playing this mod and playing um, the speed of the mod, the diplomatic interactions. Oh, wow. That's a big battle, my friends. Like, we will play it, and if we do win and then they it crashes, we will auto win attacker. But let's play it. You guys want to see battles, don't you? So let's play. Let's see how we do. Um, and hopefully we do well, but <laughs> you never know. So they're going to be coming in from there. These guys are going to be coming in from the back left. So I wonder whether we set up at the back left and try and take them out straight away. Um, but yeah, this army looks all right. Probably a lot more light infantry than we really want to worry about, though. This guy as well. Let's have a look. He does have some good units. But yeah, if we can take him out quickly, we shall uh, be very victorious. Let's go, guys. So instead of actually going after that left-hand army, there was this massive hill, guys. <laughs> Look at this. That they can't actually get up this part of it. They can get around this way, sort of. So they're going to have to come all the way around here, up this massive hill, while getting shot at. So I think this is the best option for us. Um fact we can't even go there because of the uh, there's things blocking the way as you can see so that's quite good for us so it's a nice little hill to start with so let's see how we do so now we're trading blows with the enemy trying to fire down on some of these better units that they have so general's bodyguard would be a good option don't need to worry too much about this militia the general's bodyguard would be a good option there let's also get you on guard mode as well so you don't run away. And yeah, let's see what they do in terms of charging up the hill here. Let's go back. Let's get these guys up that way. They've got their other army over there ready to come. Guys, come on. Let's run. Let's run. Run. Run, guys. Run. 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 <laughs> what are they doing? The absolute imbeciles. God damn, they are slow. God, really slow. Never seen such a slow unit. What is this? Scouts coming around this way. I mean, they can come all the way up there, but we will have our cavalry ready to uh, distract them there. Okay, a poor, uh, the poor um, crossbowmen are going to be sort of uh, <laughs> sacrificial lambs here, I guess. Uh, but yeah, we will kill those scouts pretty easily. I don't think that's going to be an issue. I'm going to leave my cavalry out of it for now. And there we go. We've got our spearmen all in the front line. Should do well against that heavy cavalry. Same as the mercenary spearmen against the scouts here. You guys, just keep on firing. Uh, I'm not sure who's the best option. Probably the general's bodyguard still. Should be able to fire at them without too many friendly casualties. But I guess we'll find out. Looks like that scout has decided to run away, of course. And uh, let's uh, bring this guy, these guys up here to uh, sort of make the line a little bit better. Those scouts have also decided to disengage. Good. 
We're just going to kill that heavy cavalry, and then we'll be all right. Here comes the general's bodyguard, though. So, Cav, let's uh, get set up over here. Let's go see what happens. They're going to charge the, st the male foot knights, which is not ideal because the male foot knights are a great unit, but they're not amazing against Cav, of course. They're not spearmen, are they? So, let's get here. Let's go, guys. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Here comes another general's bodyguard. So, they've got two getting into the action now. So, I think we can do a good job on them if we charge them. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Medieval two charges. So OP. Here we go. Right in the back. Should be a good charge. I don't know whether these guys have two hit points, though, or whether they're just really, uh, you know, good. That was a fantastic charge, though. Glorious. Right. Oh, come back. Kill the scouts that are right behind you guys. <laughs> go and kill them. Kill, kill, kill. Kill. We're kind of stuck here. Go, guys. Go. Get it. Disengage, for God's sake. Disengage. What's happening up here? Not much, really. They, they seem to be just focused on the right flank. Come on, Cav. Kill these scouts. They're wavering now. How are the male foot knights doing? They're doing okay. So let's fight these guys. These are all just spear militia. <laughs> They're already broken, actually. Fighting to the death, apparently. Right, you've killed the scouts. Let's get out. Let's get out. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 guys, go. We took a lot of losses there from getting stuck. God damn it. God damn it. Here we go, though. Get into the woodsman. They're going to be quite a good unit against us because I think they're armor-piercing. Here we go. All engagements going on now. Let's go then. What is this? Light swordsman and their heavy infantry. Oh no, don't chase them. Don't chase them. God damn it. God damn it. No, no, no. That's not what we want. This is a swordsman unit, but I think a charge could be quite good against them. I know we're quite a thin formation here, so it's not ideal. Rally the men. So I think we'll still do quite a bit of damage against that. Yeah, oh my god. We absolutely ruined that unit. Good. Cavalry charges at Medieval 2, guys. <laughs> Just an insane, insane reality. Guys, what are you doing? Stop fucking being stupid. <sighs> God, right. Get all these guys on guard mode then to stop them doing crazy shit. Right, here we go. Over eager, I would say. Over eager is the word I would use right now. You guys should be firing still. How are we doing over here? Mercenary Spearmen versus what? Slav Levies are. Oh, we're going to be fine there, aren't we? Who is this? Slav Levies again. Right. Uh, oh, no. Cavalry's over here. <laughs> Come on. Kill these guys. One of the generals has died. Let's have a look here. And then we can charge right into the back of that light swordsman. Have we killed him? Good. Straight into the back of them. Should be able to waver them. Not too badly. Looks like we're holding all right in this line. Holding all right all over the place, honestly. There we go. Straight in the back. We're not going to get a chance to charge any of these guys down, unfortunately. Oh, my God. That, that was a pile driver of a charge, my friends. We absolutely ruined them. Wow. That was insane. That was insane. Just ran through them. They had no chance. Right, what are the infantry units here? These guys, right. Let's go and charge some of those boys. Let's also uh, try and take out this general's bodyguard. I don't know which one that was. But there we go. Straight into that general's bodyguard. Where are those guys there? Up here. Good. Right then, let's uh, get into the woodsman or something. I think the cavalry can do the rest. This cavalry is insanely powerful. <laughs> Four men of the general's bodyguard left for us to kill. Not a problem, right? You guys get in the fight. The enemy general is you guys dead. kill those sla uh, those the Slav levies. They have lost half That's another men. general dead. Good. Right. Who else do we want to kill then now? Rather quickly. Um. These guys have got a blue flag. That's really interesting. Right. Let's get the cavalry down the hill to just mop up all of these boys. Yeah. You guys can chase after them now. We only have. Like this left? What is this? Scouts, scouts. Frankish knights, which is a little bit scary. But I think we can do a job on everyone first. Before they arrive, maybe. They are very fast, though. That is the one thing. These guys have got a blue uh, flag as well, which is cool. Is it just because it's a secondary army? 
Right, you guys get back up here. We gotta, we've got to, uh, we've got to get ready to engage the scouts. The enemy flees the battle. Get going, go, 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 guys, go! Here come the scouts! No, no, no! Here come the! Oh, they broke straight away! Wow, that's insane! Right, charge into those slav levies. I know they're spearmen, but we should be able to ruin them. We're not going to have killed the whole army here, which is unfortunate, but oh well. Let's go into the Slav levies. They're shaken already. Right, guys. We need to just, like, sort ourselves out. So if we come down here, we're going to have to charge up the hill this time. But that's okay. So just come down. We need to sort of set ourselves out. Let them engage our spearmen. These guys are loving it. Look at them. Celebrating. Go on, the boys. <laughs> Go on, the boys. Right, guys. Run would be good. Like, running maybe, please. <laughs> These scouts or whatever. Yeah. Oh, this is the Frankish Knights. So we do need to engage them on all sides. Get the mercenary spearmen in there too. There we go. Now we've got our cav. Oh, they're good. Right. What do we have now to charge? Probably the Black Axeman is the option here. All their cavalry up here though. Oh, 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 oh. Turn around, turn around. Fight the scouts. Now we've got our cab on the way. What else do we have coming? Light swordsman again. Some of them have come back from routing. There we go. Bang. Straight in there. Straight in there. Yeah, that's broken one of them straight away. What do we have then? The Black Axemen. The Black Axemen are actually okay unit. They're just not very armoured. Right, come back, guys. Come back. Get back, you bastard. I'll break your legs. Right, what do we have? The knights are fighting to the death. That's not ideal. I'd prefer them to run away, honestly. <laughs> and then we've got spear militia and light swordsmen. And we've seen how we can do against them. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset. Go, 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 go. Pretty good victory, I've got to say. If we well, when we pull this off. Pretty brutal though. We have lost a lot of men. Oh my god. These mailed knights are insane, guys. <laughs> They're insane. Of all they got left now is scouts. The enemy flees there we go. Right. Let's chase down whoever we can then. Let's chase down whoever we can. Well, there we go, guys. We only lost 360 men and we killed a lot. 800. Very nice. Crossbowmen doing a great job. I want to see the cav though. Where do we have the cav? I mean, the Cav in general just broke a lot of men. You can see they didn't kill that many, but just broke them all, which is pretty good. <laughs> Glorious victory, though, guys. Let's get back on the campaign map. Well, uh, in order to get a piece with these guys, I'm going to make our reputation better and release them. There we go. We also took the settlement. Let's just occupy it. There we go. That might allow us to get peace, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> We have looted the enemy camp. If you let the soldiers keep that money, you'll obviously have fewer to finance your conquest, but your faction leader may gain some positive traits. Okay. The additional ease the pain of losing our men in battle. The more such gestures within one turn, the more likely he'll get the traits. Additionally, remember for the future that if you fight battle against enemies who have numerical advantages, you're likely to get more money. Yeah, we'll, we'll accept that. Hints on the use of agents. Yeah, we'll be okay without that. And unfortunately, this settlement is a little bit upset with us. 60%. Gonna have to garrison it with someone. I'm wondering who we could send back. Hmm. No one really there. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Two garrison. Could we get levies anywhere around here? No, we can't. That is unfortunate. What's in Skodron, though? Let's have a look. We've got Town Watch, Grain Exchange, Farming, and a Brothel. Not much else. Fundaments of Var. Nice. And then Logging Camps. I think we'll build the Logging Camps. Can't really retrain many people. Crossbowmen, would you be able to make them happy? Let's have a look. No, still 60%. Might have to get some mercenaries then, I think. So, let's just pop out for a second. No mercenaries are available. Oh, no! <laughs> Flip! <gasps> oh! Well, we've got mercenaries available here. 
Let's just get it, get that, just in case we get attacked. <laughs> yes. And the irony is, after I was saying we were crashing like every battle, we didn't crash that time. So weird. I don't know why. <laughs> Got another cardinal being promoted. Pizana is so so. And Kona, anything worth building here? Not really, no. Uh, Zara is building. You are building. No, you're not building. You're repairing. Got the Fundaments of VAR, which is two turns. So it's two turns for some extra happiness. I mean, we could get the Inn, which is a lot of happiness. Less law, though. So we've got to be careful about that. Um, but yeah, it'd be nice to train some troops somewhere along the way here. But let's uh, let's order, attack that unit there. We'll be with us, men. Cool. So what do they have? Our army is not amazing, but it's pretty decent. We've got a big cross as well. That's going to help us out, of course. <laughs> um, it's a lot of sort of uh, missile troops here. They do have Frankish knights in both armies, I believe. No, they've got pro Nairoi, which are quite good, actually. But we've got two generals in here. So let's get into this fight. Here we go, guys. So we're in the fight already. Let's go. Let's get set up. Let's get those guys there. Archers and that. You could probably already stop. Just go here. Go, 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 go. Go here. Go. And the cross can come along too. Come on, the boys. Let's go. <laughs> the glorious cross. <laughs> there we go. Are they all hiding, I guess? This is all their archers. So our archers should be quite good because these Balkan archers are actually quite good. Um, but anyway, let's get the cab around this side. They can go over there. Are the archers all firing yet? Yeah, come on, guys. Hurry up. Fire. <laughs> and let's get that front line moving. Go, go, go. Go, guys, go. Let's go. Let's get the front line moving towards the enemy. Let's see if we can push these archers back or engage them, of course. Because we're going to savage them if we engage them. Let's go. Let's go. Are they going to run or are they just going to take it? I think they're going to try and run. But here we go. Go, go, go. Get engaged. Get engaged, guys. Get engaged. Attack the Peltas. There we go. We're engaging all their archers, so we should absolutely savage these boys. They've got their spearmen over here. Firing into the back of those boys as well. Let's go. One thing that I, I wish Medieval 2 would have is, is all the modern sort of uh, controls. It's really annoying having to use the, all the old style controls. They're going after the cross. They don't like the cross. No! <laughs> these are Frankish knights, of course, so we Try and get a good charge off on them would be good. Let's see how our lines are looking. Our lines are actually looking fine. Get these guys down in the middle there just to fill that gap if we need to. We do have this army coming in from over there. How are those Frankish knights doing then? They're routing already. Right. Come on then. Come on then, guys. Back, back, back. Back over there. Over there. Oh, they've got their oikoi over here. Looks like cataphracts. <laughs> nice. And we're absolutely shredding into them with arrows and um, crossbows. Very good. Nice. That's what we like to see. What are this? Peltasts? Yeah, we don't need to worry about those boys. Right. Got our cav. Let's have a look. What do we have here? If we just charge in the side of that contoroi, I think we're going to be okay. Let's go. Come on, guys. A good charge would be nice. I know it's difficult when you've not been fully formed. But there we go. We should be able to just run through them. There we go. Nice. Making the break. Fight to the death. Oh, some of you just stopped. I don't know why. Right. Into the back of the Slavic Javelin men. And then... Yeah, they're going to get absolutely shredded here. There's, like, no two ways about it. Like, they have nothing left. I've got nothing left. There we go. Now into these guys. Oh, come on. Guys, we need to set you up properly, I think. You're just like, they're all over the place. 
There we go. Fight the Oikoi. Or it should be in Greek. That would be Ikioi. Oh, no. Ikiyi. Iki. <laughs> Iki. Right. Come back. Kill the Iki. Iki. <laughs> Sounds like a meme name. <laughs> right. Into the back of them. Don't need to worry about charging the Slavic Javelin. Man. They're not going to be uh, too much of a worry, are they, my friends? Here we go. Come on, boys. Kill this cavalry. Kill the cavalry. And we'll bring our cavalry in to engage. Very good. We will have killed like most of these men now. Kill all them. And then it, all it is is their general's bodyguard. Oh, hello. The Frankish knights came back. Well, that's quite annoying. The glorious cross shall save us. <laughs> the enemy general has no honor. He flees the field of battle. He flees the field. No, no, no. All right, let's go. And let's also general. get these guys that up here quick. And you guys home. get there. And then we'll face this second army. Oh, hello. I didn't realize there were still some of those boys left alive. Right, you guys. Let's just get you like... Here, if you can, without touching the Frankish Knights. Go, go, go. Absolutely ruin those boys. Let's go. They already ran before we even got engaged. So, let's come back. The enemy flees the battle. Yep, Run there goes the Frankish Knights. Good. Peasants. Worthless peasants. No. <laughs> okay. We did run down some worthless peasants. <laughs> come on, Cross. Get to the front line, my friends. And then these guys can come back here. And then we will go and engage that second army. Unless they're withdrawing already. Oh, they have Varengian Guard. That's going to be fun. Come on then, guys. Are you guys able to fire at them yet? Yeah, some of you are, actually. Good. But we'll get uh, you guys more there. Fantastic. Go on, Cross as well. Let's go and engage these boys right in the front. Are they withdrawing? I'm not sure. I would like to engage them, to be honest. Just what march now, guys, because you're all pretty tired. These guys should all want to fire now, surely. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Let's halt. Can you fire? Can you maybe fire a couple of times? There we go. Glorious. <laughs> Don't think they took many down. Oh, a couple, actually. It's stopping them in their tracks for the charge. That's fantastic. Enjoy that, Varengian guard. <laughs> nice. That's what we like to see, guys. And then what cav do we have to deal with? We've got their general, of course, the Iki. We've also got the Pro Nairoi, which seem like quite a good unit, honestly. Varengian guard getting absolutely shredded out here. Right, we'll go towards their cavalry to engage them. And we'll fully surround this Varengian guard when we can. Are you eager because of the cross? The glorious cross! Fighting these Norsemen! Let's go! I don't think they'd be Norse at this point in time, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but anyway. Let's go. You can engage my mercenary boys. I'm not bothered about that. Let's go. And then I guess we just fully surround them now. <laughs> I'd rather leave a bit of a path open for charging them, though. That's the one thing. Here we go. Their cavalry's coming now. Let's see what their cavalry decides to do. Oh, wait. The Rengen Guard have run. They're running. The little pussios. Stop running. All right, let's go kill the pro Nairoi. And there come the arrows into the general. In their wedge formation. Go on, boys. Oh, look at that. Glorious, 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 glorious. Very good. Oh, that they've just they've just absolutely decimated our our spear unit. Wow, that's insane. How is the Pro Nairoi doing? Yeah, we've killed a lot of them. 
We still, you know... Wow, that... <laughs> that look at that! They, they just killed a whole spear militia unit in one charge. That's amazing. There go the Varengians still. Are they, they're running. They're running into us. It is unwise to praise the day. Praise okay, the glorious. Our right, let's go. Let's go. Glorious victory, my friends. Let's go. Let's go. The rest of you chase down the general. And let's go. I think we've killed him. Ah, glorious. Glorious, my friends. Glorious. And wow, a very good victory. Apparently, we only killed 575. Well, we captured 348 as well. So... Yes, a glorious little victory, my friends. Very good. Well, I think with this one, it's so much money that we might as well ransom them. So they rejected. Oh, dear. Let's uh, accept looting the enemy camp there as well. God has granted his faithful this victory. Wow. Well, unfortunately, I can't believe they rejected that, that ransom. They might not have had the money for it, though. Let's just occupy Dorazzo. That is another one for our crowning. Let's go for a small chapel. Is there anything in here that we don't want? Like um, an Orthodox church, potentially? No, it's actually quite good. It's a good little castle. We can get standard archers now as well. Decent. Slav levies. So, yeah, levy archers too. Not too bad, you know. Not too bad. A nice little place. We renamed it to Dorazzo as well. Good. And, yeah, abysmal relations now with Byzantines, which isn't good. I'm not going to lie. But let's press that end turn and let's see where we get to. So we crashed on the end turn. So we're going to try it one more time, guys. One more time. Let's see. So we have a suitable prince here, but he's 47. So I'm absolutely going to decline. Uh, faction leader is old now, of course, as well. And we've got a blockade port on Corinthos. That's not a problem. Um, this guy also did just take a battle. Uh, what are these Bulgarian mercenaries? Long-range missiles. They seem pretty darn good. Let's take them. There's also... Yes. Ah. Ah, well. <laughs> but yeah, Verona now has a drill square. That's good. What does that allow? Sergeant Spearman as well. And the Norman sergeants too. Which is good. 3, 4, 16... And those guys are 212. Good. There we go. Yeah, I think we're doing quite well. Let's see if we can get roads up there. We've got seven more turns until we get roads here. And that's going to allow us not to do anything, any other building. But we are building in everywhere else apart from Verona. That's fine, though. I would probably get a river port there, really, would be the option. Death stalks to land in Venice. 6,990 people killed in Venice. Oh, that's not good. Because to get up to the next level, it's 80,000, guys, which is insane. Um, but anyway, let's do that. Let's have a look. Retraining is complete and the path blocked. Well, guys, I think, you know, with the discontinuing there... Ironically, we didn't have crashes in the battles. We did have a crash on the end turn, though. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, I am going to leave it there, guys. So I am sorry to all of you guys who do really like this series. But we will come back to this mod at some point, definitely. Because from what I've been able to play without the crashes, it's been really fun. And I really like the slow style of the mod. Forcing you to be tactical. Forcing you to take things slowly. I think it's really, really cool. And I think it's a really cool mod in general whether the fix is to do with me changing the bios or something i don't know um but if we can come back to it at some point when i don't have all these crashes that would be fantastic because i do really really love the mod and if you don't have an nvidia graphics card guys you should be absolutely fine but uh you never know you never know but anyway guys thank you for all your support on this series and look forward to darth mod empire but thank you very much for watching a like and a subscribe would be massively appreciated and i'll see you all again on the next video